Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Chelsea, you know that, I know that. And I'm just a lady with a bulldog, a camera, and too many opinions. And today we are going to call out some red flags and teach you about some common red flags regarding social media and the interwebs in the year 2024 that I think that you need to look out for. I wanna do these videos, I wanna say like every quarter or every time I see new things that need to be called out. So let's go ahead and get into it because there is quite a lot. All right, now let's start with ones that aren't necessarily social media based. These are more so ones that just come to your phone. So more so red flags regarding scams in the digital space. And I wanna make these videos so that, again, wh what's my channel all about? Teaching all about red flags regarding scams, regarding tricky manipulation and situations so that you can you know, share it with people so that they aren't getting scammed. Unfortunately, a lot of these scams that aren't necessarily on social media really get the older crowd. That's not me age shaming girlfriend. That just means that, hey, you didn't grow up with this. You didn't learn coding to try to customize your MySpace page. You're probably at risk of, you know, falling for these things. I've collected a few that I have received. Everyone gets them. I've received a lot of them really in the last month and a half, basically, or since like December. So this is one that I got and I get a lot of these from random places. And this one says your order confirmation. This is a very common one. You see something that says order confirmation. You're like, oh, what did I buy again? So you're going to open it and it says, thank you, blah, 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 blah. And it says, hi, <laughs> the first part of my email. We would like to thank you for your assistance in resolving the issue on your blank, 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 blank account. And then there's an invoice and a bill. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over what it says. We're going to go over what the scam is trying to do. And then we're going to point out like the red flags for each of them, right? So what this is trying to do is get you to email them back and be like, oh my gosh, wait, no, I didn't order anything. Please stop. What can I do? And then they would essentially send you a email or a link or something where you click that and that's called a phishing scam. They're just trying to fish to try to hook you to get you to click on something, a link, so that they'll be able to hack you, get your information, whatever, right? Just use common sense. Did you order anything? No, you didn't. But also guess what? Always, always, always look at the domain of the email. Would someone from Norton actually be sending me an email from gmail.com? Also, who's Malcolm? Who's Malcolm Cromwell? That's not legit. Please do not fall for that. Don't click anything. You didn't order anything, don't click it. Just mark spam, goodbye, that's it. There are a billion examples of this. Now, this is a really common one that you will see on one of my favorite subreddit pages, and that is r slash scams or scam bait is a really good one. I actually shared this one on scam bait because I was like, yes, I finally got one. <laughs> and it is so funny. So there's a lot of these interactions and I'm of the belief of let's waste their time because the more time they spend with me, the less time they spend scamming someone's grandma. Okay, leave my Nana alone. Well, she's deceased, so you can't really talk to her anyways. If you can, that's scary. This is one where you'll get a text from a number that you do not have. You do not know this person and they'll text you as if they do know you. Now, this person said, I'll be in California this weekend. Are you available? Let's have dinner. And of course, I literally don't, I don't know who this person is. They don't know me either. So I'm just gonna play into it completely. I try to say the most off the wall and it's my favorite. So I, of course, said, I am available. Does Friday work? I'm always way too eager. And they said, no, I am flying on Saturday. I will arrive on Saturday. I said, let's not go to that seafood place this time. My anus is burning from the diarrhea last time. And they said, sorry, who is if? Seems you are not that person who I look for. And this is not me shaming anyone who their first language is not English. Listen, in other countries and anyone who speaks multiple languages, you are a billion times smarter than I am. The fact that my father-in-law thinks in Spanish and then speaks in English, and then when he gets really frustrated, it turns to Spanglish and it's my favorite. And he, he always gets, it's so funny. He always gets like common like phrases and sayings wrong. Oh my gosh, like Jesse, like Jesse smiles. Is that why you do that? Anyways, so it's one of my favorite things. So that's not me saying like that clearly you're a scammer if you can't speak English. Just want to make that clear. However, that is a red flag, right? It's a red flag that one, I don't have their number. Two, they are speaking in broken, broken English. The one thing I always say to people is just don't talk to people you don't know on the internet, okay? I know that's like very boomer of me and very like crazy of me, but just don't talk to people you don't know on the internet. Everyone else is trying to scam you. And they said, she never speak like this. She is very intelligent woman. And I said, intelligent people still get diarrhea. And I said, so you don't want to go to dinner? And they laughed at it. And they said, I know, I am sorry, but Nellie 
won't tell her this kind of problem. I feel sorry for your belly. I hope you will recover soon. I said, unfortunately, I am doomed and I will never recover, especially if you don't go to dinner with me. And they said, are you male? I said, I asked you first, which I did not. They said, you invite me. I am asking because of this. Mm, we're getting flirty. Male or female? I said, whatever you want me to be. Send pics, send pics, hello? I like to get real impatient with them. And they said, I don't know you. Bold of you. Why must I send? From where are you? I said, Scranton, Pennsylvania. They said, I'm going to Cali. Moved from Moscow. I live in Boston. Have you been in Russia? I said, yes, my dad lives there. Want to see pictures of me and my dad? They said, where? What do you mean where? You, ju you just asked about Russia. Can send up to you? I said, he lives in Russia. Then I sent them a picture of me and my dad. He said, oh, funny. I said, this is me and him. He's super sweet. He said, how old are you? 16? Don't text me. I don't have time for a kid. I am 35 years old. I said, I'm 24 and a half. He said, okay, bye. I said, no, don't leave me. I thought we were going to dinner. He said, is it because you're scared of my dad? He's super nice, I promise. See? I said, this is because I have chronic diarrhea, isn't it? You are rude. For those of you who are not cultured individuals, that is Daddy Putin. What other world leader, let's call him what he is, dictator, has <laughs> just shirtless pictures of him fishing like sir what are you what are you doing so those are ones where they will try to get you on whatsapp and they will try to get you to send them pictures they'll send you a picture of some random person typically a attractive female and then from there they will try to get you to send you money or links they'll try to send you links for you to click on again it's, it's, it's just in general a phishing scam they'll try to get you to send them gift cards or money or just anything if you look at the uh, scam bait reddit page there are times when people actually see the people behind these scams and it's like a high school kid or like a random person in another country it's like it's so strange so strange but they do it because unfortunately sometimes it works and it's really sad so this is another great example of a phishing scam and this is the another invoice one and so it says dear customer and then it has one of my email addresses and account id many thanks again this is from lucille reynolds gmail.com this is not how this is not how this would work. I would not get an invoice from PayPal for Bitcoin. <laughs> and I don't buy Bitcoin. If you didn't make a purchase, ignore it. Hey, look at your bank statement. Look at your your bank statement. Oh my god. Look at your checkbook. Look at your mobile banking app, whatever it is, and be, see, oh, okay, there's nothing there. Got it. Awesome. As simple as that, please. And a lot of times these people, if they actually do get in contact with you, will try to have you make decisions super, super quickly so that you get caught up in it and you don't have time to even think. And then that way you'll make mistakes. When you go real fast, you make mistakes, right? So just keep that in mind and just look at your bank statement. If it doesn't say you bought anything, you didn't buy anything. Okay. So this is a thing from PayPal. Obviously that's not how that works. <laughs> It's not legit. Always, 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 especially if you're an influencer too, because y'all know we all get emails that are like, hi, this is blah, blah, blah from Nike or Janice from, from like Fiji water or smart water or something like that. And they're like, we're looking for blah, blah, blah. And it's not real. Or from Levi's. That's a one that I've received a lot. And it's like, why would someone who works at Levi's email me from an email address that isn't at Levi's.com? Like, what are, what are you doing? Always look at that, please. Also, if you do have the option, please do use PayPal. This is not a sponsorship PayPal, obviously. This is what I do. Use PayPal as an option for paying for things online because a lot of times you are able to do a claim with them if something's a scam. I mean, it, it's it's easier to go through a third party instead of just like using your card. Yeah, because typically PayPal will like hide your information like from them basically, which is good. So this is another one that I got from a number that I did not know. And it said, why don't we go to the movies tomorrow? I said, can we see Oppenheimer? I need to take notes on how to complete my bomb. They said, isn't this Linda? Did I find another person? I said, Whoa, this is Patrick. and they said, so Patrick, I'm contacting a friend I met at a party. Maybe she was drunk last night and wrote down the wrong number. They're not your friend if you just met him. I hope I didn't disturb you. They say shit like that. Like it's, it's very, you can tell it's like very poorly translated. Basically. I said, maybe this is fate. I'm looking for new friends. Can we be friends? I have to warn you, you might end up on a no fly list if you're friends with me. I think it is God who let us meet. Maybe it will bring us luck and friendship. How old are you? I said, 62, how old are you? They said, I'm 38. I said, good gravy. They said, yes. You interested in quantum physics? My name is Lisa. Lisa, do you have a particle accelerator I can borrow? I don't know why I can't send photos. Do you have WhatsApp or Telegram? I can send it there. I said, no, I don't have those. Lisa, you're not really answering my questions. Are you not interested in splitting atoms? Do you have WhatsApp or Telegram? I can send it there. I said, send what? I'm send my picture. And I said, I'll send my picture. He said, do you have WhatsApp or Telegram? I said, there's no time for that, Lisa. I sent a picture of um 
the father of the atomic bomb, who is me in this case. I said, here's my picture. I'm sure you're very pretty. Now, are you wanting in on this project or not? He said, I don't know why I can't send photos. I will talk and send a picture on WhatsApp. I said, I don't have that. Where do I get it? Radio Shack? He said, do you have Telegram? I said, is that like a telegraph? We can talk in Morse code if you prefer. And then I uh, sent F off in, in Morse code. And I said, you're making me feel young again, Lisa. They blocked me after that. They stopped responding. But I wasted their time. Again, they're trying to get you over to another app so that they can more easily scam you. It's just like if you get kidnapped. Don't go to a second location. Okay? Do not go to a second location. Digitally or whatever. Also, don't text people you don't know. Simple as that. And this one is one that is very, very, very common lately and really has gotten a lot of people. I almost thought it was real. I've had people send me this and I'm like, they're like, is this a scam? Listen, that's the message I get the most from my friends in real life. Is this a scam? Yes, it is. I love you. Thank you for asking me. Do you want to help me build a bomb? <laughs> the USPS package arrived at the warehouse, but could not be delivered due to incomplete address information. Please confirm your address in the link. Do not do that. Do not click that. Don't click any links. Please reply why. Then exit the text message and open it again to activate the link. That's not how that works. Or copy the link and open it in your Safari browser. USPS team wishes you a wonderful day. Really? Didn't be tiff at hotmail.com? Is that what happened? No. The, no. No, 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 no. A lot of times why these will come from an email is that they're doing it on a computer and they're just sending out mass texts to a bunch of random numbers. So yeah, unfortunately, I get a lot of these scammy emails, scammy texts, things like that, because unfortunately, due to my job, I should really just get another Google voice number, but I will get a lot of these texts and emails and stuff like that to my work phone, which just stays in my office at this point. And my work emails, because... I sign up for crazy and actually, funnily enough, I have received a lot of these things after signing up for a lot of scammers, ebooks or courses or things like that. And so what I'm thinking is that a lot of people are making, a lot of these people are making this type of money from selling our information or the customer's information, whatever, their consumer information data to different companies. They could make a good amount of money by doing that. And that's so messed up. Do not click any links. This right here is a scam. This is a very popular one right now. USPS is going to email you. They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. And also it would be in your tracking notifications that it's at a distribution center or something like that, right? You're not going to get a text from USPS that's actually from hotmail.com. Okay. So those are common phishing scams. Other ones that I haven't really gotten too often lately, but it's very, very common lately is that they will hack someone's Instagram. And if I can find example of this, examples of this, I will go ahead and include it as well when I'm talking about it, but they'll hack someone's Instagram or they will spoof someone's Instagram. For instance, my brother's old Instagram got hacked and they put like a bunch of crypto stuff on it. And then it's just so obvious. And a lot of y'all have emailed me or messaged me and been like, my friend is posting all this about crypto. Like, I just can't believe this, blah, blah, blah. Like I thought they were smarter than this. And I've looked at it and I'm like, no, they got hacked. Like it's clear they got hacked. So what they'll do is it'll post like, oh, I got this much money or like a screenshot of like money or a bank account or some shit. Or like, oh, I got this car and like, look, I've made so much money from this. And it's because of this person. And they'll tag like an actual crypto scammer or like a scammer trying to spoof like one of the W Fab Girls stuff or something. And that's what they'll do. And then they'll message people in that person's friends list because they have that like illusion of trust. Like, oh, I know this person, like they wouldn't scam me. So then they're messaging them and they're like, oh, here, click this, do this. And then that way they take over your account too, right? And then another one is people will message you and be like, oh, I like, I forgot the password to this or I got locked out of something. Can I send this code to your phone number? And then that way, like you can just tell me the code and I can get into my account. What they're trying to do is break into your account and they're trying to do that. And then the code to verify is being sent to your phone and then you're giving that code to them and then they're going to sign into your account and then lock you out of it. So if anyone's asking you for help logging into something, do not do it. If anyone's asking you for to have like a code sent to your phone, no, that doesn't make sense. They can have it sent to their own phone. And then just don't, don't do that. Listen, don't help anyone on the internet, okay? They're trying to scam you. And also if someone's messaging you that from their Instagram account, text them, call them and be like, hey, is that you? Like what's happening? For instance, one of my friends, Ashton, she just had a baby too. Kind of went to high school together. We went to like neighboring high schools, whatever. We we're in like same friend groups and stuff. Love her. She like deleted her Instagram like profile picture and deleted a bunch of her posts and then like changed her Instagram name. And I 
DM'd her and I was like, did you get hacked? You're rebranding? What are you doing? Like, am I about to get a message about crypto? And she's like, oh my God, you're the fourth person that's messaged me that. She's like, no, I've just been getting a lot of creepy like DMs and stuff. So I'm just trying to like tighten up. I was like, okay, that makes sense. That's fine. I was like, but just looking out for you, girlfriend. <laughs> All right. Now I actually already have done an entire video on like job listing scams. So I'll link that down below. And then also about master resale rights as well. So if you want to see those videos, please go look at them in the description box below. But right now we're mainly focusing on social media and stuff like that. So one huge red flag is long captions. For instance, look at this one. This is an extremely long caption. Who in their right mind puts extremely long captions like that? Another red flag is someone being extremely vague, not saying the company they work for, or when they aren't the owner of the company, clearly in this case, as we know, they are posting all about how they are hiring. You're not hiring. You don't, you're, you don't work for HR. You're not hiring. You're not the owner of the company. You can't hire anyone. And talking about their job constantly and trying to market it to you and to get you to do something like that. One of the most red flaggy things that I can tell you, if someone is trying to convince you to do the exact same thing that they do or teach you to do the thing they do, red flag, most likely a scam, most likely an MLM, most likely something like that. Now, again, with the vagueness, this person doesn't say what company she works for. That is a huge red flag. If it was legit, they would promote the company and realistically, the company wouldn't be an MLM. Now, this one even says as well, there's a lot of misinformation here. We're not focusing on that in this video, but it's a long caption. And then it says, build your brand for free. Uh, you can't build a brand for free monetarily, possibly through social media, but it's going to take time. And technically, yes, it's going to take some money here and there. And then of course, for more information on the affiliate marketing aspect, DM me and let's chat. This is another huge red flag. If someone is not outwardly giving you this information when they're trying to promote something or just saying like, hey, sign up in the link in my bio or you can buy this in the link in my bio or on my store, something like that. And not just directly telling you what's what and saying, DM me for more information. How about you just put the more information right there? You just did a long ass caption. Why don't you just be forthcoming with it? Being vague trying to lure you into like a witch, trying to lure you into their cabin made of candy so they can shove you in their oven and steal all your money and your soul. That is a huge red flag. DM me, blah, 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 for more information or comment, blah, 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 for more information. How about you just give us the information publicly? Why can't you? Because it's a scam and they don't want to do that. They want to control the conversation and control the sale and talk about that information privately with you so that other people aren't looking it up. Another great example of a caption that's far too long. Now, listen, I'm all about celebrating your own success. Absolutely. If your success and you celebrating it makes other people uncomfortable, that's a them issue, not a you issue. But there's a difference between that and focusing on the monetary aspect of it. I can be so excited to reach 100,000 subscribers. I can be so excited that, you know, a video is doing really well or being super excited regarding and proud regarding the like analytical numbers based aspect of something, the performance of something like that, right? Or I can be excited about a big brand deal. You know, I, I just got one that the, the first offer was really good and I'm excited about that. That's okay. You should feel comfortable being excited about that. However, using the monetary aspect or your monetary specific monetary success and how well you've done selling something in order to convince other people to sell it too is extremely scammy unethical, but red flaggy as well. You cannot guarantee that they're going to have the same success as you regarding that. The way that you make money is by them signing up to do the same thing you do. It's just a vicious cycle of red flags. For instance, this says 10,000 in less than three months by doing what? It, it's just, it's so, it's so scammy. It's such a scam. If people are constantly talking about how much they make and being like, and I can teach you how to do the same thing, but you're not teaching them how to do the same thing. You're, you are recruiting them. Like that, that's how they are making money. They're not going to teach you how to do the same thing. They're going to sell you whatever course or whatever so that they can continue to make that money. That's it. This is another one that's constantly talking about money. And it says, imagine making almost $1,000 in one day from work you've put in like days ago. I haven't worked on my digital marketing business for at least a week. 
but you made this real, so that's what you're doing. Talking constantly on social media, making reels constantly about passive income or residual income, you're doing marketing for it. If you weren't doing the marketing for it and promoting it, you wouldn't be making the money that you are from it, supposedly. So therefore, it's not passive income if you're constantly marketing what you're doing because you are actually selling it. Talking constantly about passive income and how to make passive income is not making passive income. And this says, because I have automated systems working for me. No, it's because you're promoting it constantly every single day, all that. It says, DM me MRR for more info. No, you could just tell, you could just tell them exactly what it is. Again, being purposely vague and not saying specifically what they do. If it was not a scam, if it was actually a good opportunity, they would not be so focused on, I make so much money. Let me show you how. Like, that's not how it works. No. People who actually are doing very well in life and making a lot of money, not in a scammy way, are not promoting how much money they are making constantly. That's not how that works. Also, this is not me being cynical. This is me being a realist. Someone who is messaging you on social media, that is not professional at all. No legitimate opportunity, money-making opportunity is going to present itself to you via social media, via DM, anything like that. That is not how that works. I know the world is changing. I know, you know, people say they can make money doing this, that, and whatever, but it's not sustainable. It's hardly attainable. That's just not how that works, okay? And this is a little bit of a rant, but when it comes to master resale rights, yes, there is value in you not having to go look for all that information yourself, but it's extremely overpriced and you can go find that information for free. I have been wanting for months and months and months to put that information out there for free on just like a PDF or something that y'all can download. The thing is though, is that I would have to update it like every three months or six months or something like that. So just having super basic information on creating content and monetizing your social media, eventually I'll do it. It's just, you know, it's just a lot. Okay. Maybe I'll get so ahead this month that I will be able to do that. I've already filmed two videos today. This is my third. So if you want me to do that, comment a lightning bolt down below, right? which realistically this should have been in a top fails video as well. But again, people talking about how much money they're making constantly online. Red flag. How are they making that money? By recruiting people. How are they recruiting people? By talking about how much money they're making constantly online. That's it. Now this person really just told on herself and it says, so her downline volume for 2023 was 15.6 million. Now keep in mind that I don't think is her commission she made from her downline. I think that means her downline sales. I think if it was her sales from that, it, she would have said that, like it would have said that, but your downline volume, meaning the volume that your downline sold. One thing that I always tell y'all as well is look at their Instagram bio. This is the front facing, the first stop, the first line of defense, y'all. Cringe, 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 okay? We're gonna go over some Instagram bios that are clearly Instagram scammers, network marketing people, just people trying to make money off of you in a unethical way. And it's all about that false altruism that we talked about before. So here are some red flags, some keywords to look out for, okay? Now this one says, so first of all, digital marketing growth coach. Coach means nothing, absolutely means nothing. If you actually had a license or anything like that or any type of certification, you bet your butt they'd have that in in there. Hardly 30,000 followers? I think not, ma'am. Helping beginners build passive and automated streams. It's not automated because you're constantly marketing it. So you are working constantly or else you're not going to make any money. Helping women, helping beginners is a red flag. Passive income, building passive empires, building passive money, whatever. That's a red flag. Talking about how much money you make to 100K in five months. By what? By doing what you're teaching other people to do or by selling this course? By selling the course. Does anyone have that on their LinkedIn profile? No. And then learn the exact way I did. The information in there is not how you're making money. It's by people buying the course that you're selling. That's how you're making money. Another red flag, making money with Allie. And this one says, helping you earn money from home. Why? No, it's the false altruism. You're not doing this because you want to help them earn money from home. You're doing this because you want to earn money from home. Making $2,200 weekly, only working one to two hours. Is it because you're batch filming content? Probably. And marketing this? Probably. Send me a message. I'm ready. Start here today. Or you could just be transparent and tell people what you're actually selling and show them what you're actually selling. But alas, then I'd be in the comments being like, it's a scam. Another scam. The Instagram highlight that says, work with me. Who's recruiting coworkers? Who is hiring coworkers? Do you work for HR? No, you don't. You don't do that. Why would it benefit you to have more people do the exact same thing that you do? Unless you make money from them signing up. 
and make money off of them signing other people up and making sales and doing that, then of course, yes. So the work with me highlight is a red flag as well. Now, if you were someone who, you know, did sponsorships like I do, things like that, companies will see that through your, through examples of like your, I don't know I'm saying highlight reel, but like that's a, that's a, a term actually in the industry, not just on Instagram of brands that you've worked with. And you'll say like, in your media kit or something like that, or your management will be able to send it out and be like, this is work she's done previously. Here's a link to it and all that, right? Or you can create that yourself if you want to, if you have the time, I, I do not. So yeah, that's that's different. That's not what this is. Balancing women's hormones. Oh, I'm sorry, Becca. Are you a doctor or do you specialize in hormones? Do, have you gone to school for that? Have you done any training or any type of education regarding that? No, you haven't. How do we know? Because you're in a cult. And the girls in your family are not supposed to go to college or have any other type of higher education. I will have that deep dive linked down below. She is in the Baird Mershon family cult, which is the girl defined family. So this says helping women balance their hormones, heal their gut and nourish their bodies. What gives you the right to think that you have the qualifications to do that? Again, she doesn't have any qualifications. If she did, they would be appropriately displayed in her bio. All right, this one is social selling tips, mature beauty, gut health, helping women in social selling create content. No, not with that poorly executed PNG remove background file profile picture that you have there, girlfriend. Grab my content tips ebook. Let's not. Sharing affordable, clean beauty and gut health. Are you qualified to do so? No, you're not. And also helping women. Help helping women. Help the phrase helping women, helping moms, helping red flag. The words social selling, master resale rights, red flag, dear God. 15K months, again, talking about how much you make. Helping digital marketers build influence and a magnetic brand to sell their own products with ease. No, you don't. You sell a course and that's it. Social selling business leader. Oh, this girl is in, I believe she's in Prove It actually. 16.5 million plus in plant team sales. My stories are better. Patriot Mama, Nicaragua plus Tennessee, water polo, fitness and holistic health. Social selling business leader. Cringe. And I could understand if you are like a corporate trainer or you are in the corporate world and you maybe do consulting or something like that, you probably could be using social media to market yourself, of course. But you're not going to put how much money and how much revenue you've generated in your bio. That's a red flag. Who cares? Social selling mom, real AF mom, chaotically balancing three kids and a biz. B-I-Z, red flag. You're helping others grow on social media. You don't have 2000 followers. Why would they want to learn how to grow on social media from you? That's not how that works. Just, just from her Instagram, I couldn't see and kind of get a good idea of exactly what she sells. And of course she does MRR, Master Resale Rights. She also does Saint. And then she also does proven strategies to monetize your Instagram with reels and create content that converts. Reels aren't monetized anymore, but of course she's meaning how to market yourself and get sales leads and all that. And then CBD wellness. So she's in two MLMs and in Master Resale Rights. Simply passive, not passive income if you're marketing it constantly, girl. Always check out their links. If it says hair quiz, money, run. If it says anything, anything like that, get color matched, run. It's an MLM. No limit crypto and Forex. If it says crypto and Forex in their bio, run or DM info, run. Anyone who actually invests and makes, like, do y'all do y'all see me talking on social media and trying to get y'all to also invest in a Disney stock or AMC stock or any other type of shares of anything that I own? No, I don't need you to know what I'm investing in. Goodbye. Also, if I was actually like an investment channel or like a financial whatever channel, then of course, yes, but that's not what I do. But even if I was, I wouldn't be marketing it like that. Lifestyle, entrepreneur. Guess what? Having entrepreneur in your bio, that's a red flag. DM, money bag. For more infos, let's not, Renee, let's not. DM anything for more info. No, do not, don't do it. That's a red flag. Business, hair, affordable fashion. Business mentor, hair expert. Links and free personalized hair consult. She is apparently a hairstylist though, I think. So like that can be iffy, but if anything says like hair consult, but it's digital, scam, red flag, red flag, please, no, 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 no. And then business mentor, there are, and I wanna make this clear, there are actual like 
lash technicians, nail techs, hairstylists, colorists, like things like, or extension specialists who actually offer like courses and trainings to where you are going to learn their specific technique or our favorite muralist, our girl who actually just had baby too. I love her so much. And she has like a course on how to, it's like specific to branding, becoming like a muralist and pricing and stuff like that. And that's different. Uh, Someone actually DM me about this. They were like, hey, you know, I love your content, whatever. I do think it's important for you to preface how these certain things are scams. Yes. But when it comes to certain things, like there are different ways to go about it. For instance, they were like, you know, paying someone with Charles Schwab or something like that, like an investment thing, fidelity, like I do paying like a professional with that. And then like they get a cut of whatever profits or whatever. Yeah, that's not a scam, but they're also a professional. So instead of joining like a trading or investing MLM, put that same money towards that. And then yeah, sure. They get a cut, but you're also like, it's real, you know? So just keep that in mind. And I really liked that insight that they gave me and that feedback. See, she takes feedback and how they phrased it and all that. And I was like, girl, you right. I need to make a point to say that more often. And I do, but I need to drive that home more of, I'm not just being cynical and saying everything's a scam, but what I am saying is that make sure the person's a professional. It has nothing to do with an MLM and all that. So for instance, my when I did see my nail tech, Reina, um, she has like a classes that she does to where she's amazing at Gel X. Like she's arguably one of the top three people in the Tampa Bay area for Gel X. And she has a course that you can take in like a class that you come in and she teaches you and like closes down her salon. And then there's um, like microblading people or lash people who will teach you how to do like their specific technique. That's not a scam. Okay. Just keep that in mind and certain like industry things, of course. Right. So just keep that in mind. You need to understand that how these people are making the money is not by just selling a course or something. They're actually a professional. They actually have the skill. They are actually doing the thing and the way they're making money is not just the course, whatever. It's actually doing the thing that the course is, course is teaching. That's important to know. Hooking you up with genius AI sales tools applies to all online business, making business fun. Get a job. And it's easy for me to say that I understand. And I understand that a lot of these people, keep in mind, are just stuck in vicious cycle that is, I need to make more money. I need to make more money. I completely understand that. What I'm trying to show you is that taking advantage of other people is not the way to do it, okay? There are actual like good good ways to do this and good sources to make money online, okay? I don't know why I just said like that, but you know. The modern mompreneur. Mompreneur? Any variation of entrepreneur? Red flag, stop it right now. Prioritizing family and education. I love that, but what? Trailblazing women's entrepreneurial success. Love that, but also not in this way, girlfriend. Another one is inspiring you to see more, inspiring women to blah, 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 inspiring them to do this and that and that. Again, Instagram highlights that say side hustle, mompreneur, mom, mom entrepreneur, another variation of it, mentor, teaching you how to make money on your social media. No, you're not. You're selling a course or you are getting them in your pyramid scheme. That's what you're doing. No one needs to teach you how to make money online for like you can you can learn that for free pretty sure this one is in prove it as well she says she's a biohacker again entrepreneur passive income expert investor people who are actually investing and making money doing so are not putting investor in their instagram bio if they are cringe don't do that mentor believing in you until you believe in yourself helping families get free since 2004 taking advantage of families the false altruism another red flag I help business owners grow quickly. Red flag, false altruism. Talking about how much money she makes or the revenue. 100 million in sales, let me help you. No, you want them to help you make more money. Trading, investing, crypto, lifestyle, mindset. The word mindset in your Instagram bio, that's a red flag. DM me now so that they can scam you. No, no. Your digital money bestie. I can help you make $500 a day. No, girl, that's not it. Selling a course you didn't create, how lazy? Like zero to 10K in less than three months. Again, all about the money. They just wanna make more money and it's killing me and it's costing you money. It might take a little bit of time, but you can find this information online for free from experts or you can actually just pay an expert to teach you how to do this. Or you could, I don't know, get a real job. I know people get mad when I say that and it's easier said than done. I understand that. And we live in a society that like the living expense is way too crazy and we're all doomed and dying, okay? But please don't get sucked into this. Please don't get scammed, okay? Please, 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 please. I help others live a life they don't need a vacation from. Do you? Because I'm pretty sure you actually just are at the top of money and they help you do that. I help others. Entrepreneur. You're not an entrepreneur. You're in a pyramid scheme. 
Entrepreneur means that you took a financial risk and are doing it by yourself. You're not doing it by yourself. You have a downline. They're doing it for you. Also, congrats to her for having another kid though. That's awesome. Good. Love that. All right, guys. So I will make these updated videos every so often, but I just wanted to get this out there and talk about a lot of scams that I've seen and red flags that I've seen across the digital landscape so that you can stay safe and save, share this with people. Save this. Teach people about dust scams, okay? Waste their time waste their time so that they are not scamming someone else. And then share it on the scam bait Reddit page or my Reddit page if you want. Uh, feel free to join that community or don't, whatever. Follow me on all social media. We get real spicy over on Instagram stories at IMCC Suarez. And guess what? It's free. You don't have to pay for it. If you do actually want me to try or attempt to make a like free digital download for you regarding, I don't know, social media, growing on it, all that. Ugh, I hate that I'm even saying this leave a leave a red flag down below <laughs> and I'll know that if you want me to. It will take a while. I will try to do it, I promise, and figure out how I can do it for free and all that. But appreciate you and I will see you in my next video. Don't get scammed. Stay spicy. Just question everything, okay? Don't talk to people you don't know on the internet. Not stranger danger, but tricky people, okay? Stay vigilant. Don't get scammed. Beware of red flags. Keep those boundaries up. Your butt looks really good. Did you get a haircut? I don't know. You look hot. Okay. Goodbye.